Could Old Navy surpass the Gap brand? Uh, define surpass. <laughs> well, as you say, it's, you know, it's got a huge following, it's got a yep. great price point, yep. and I know plenty of people who shop at Old Navy over Gap. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're two different brands, but you know, we've been fairly forthright in saying the importance of Old Navy in our portfolio today. So if you look at, at size and profitability, it has already surpassed Gap brand. Gap brand is, and we know this because we've done the research, not just because I want to believe it, it is still very relevant to our consumers. Um, but it's 50 years old, and brands morph and brands evolve. And we're doing work right now to really position Gap brand back to its core. But you know, I'm, I'm, um, I love every brand in our portfolio. We've been very forthright with the investment community in saying that but we're going to be responsible managers of the portfolio. And our job at the end of the day is to do many things, not the least of which is create value for our shareholders. What about Banana Republic? You know, you're in the middle of a turnaround there. It is looking up. What are you doing differently and, and, and what is working? So what we're doing differently is what we've done when Banana was at its best, quite honestly. We had a moment where we went into a, a bit of a tortured fashion phase, especially for the women's product. And Banana at its core, and this is a banana, this is from the holiday collection. I pulled it out of the studio. Banana Lux flannel with stretch in it. The hand is beautiful. Banana at its core is about neutrals, about amazing fabrics, incredible hand feel, and versatile pieces at a slightly higher price point that are the foundation of his and her wardrobe. It's not a work brand, it's a life brand. And as we've really put product back in our stores, great fabrics, neutrals, um, on trend but not uh, tortured fashion, we've seen the customer respond to it almost overnight. So when do you see Banana being back at its best? Two years, three years? I think best is always something that you're aiming towards and it's always something that you're going toward. But I expect to see a long run here of Banana continuing to grow and continuing to grow market share. I'm really excited about it. And if you think about it, what Banana is at its best is it is a extraordinarily high quality, well-made and fairly priced alternative to contemporary brands. And that's really when Banana, when Banana is really chugging along, that's what it's doing best. I'm all about Safari Banana. That's my preference, Jesse. We have a, <laughs> we have a flight suit in the assortment right now. It is very cute. I actually showed it to my nephew's uh, fiance, who is an F-18 pilot in the Navy, and she looked amazing in it. So, Athleta, another bright spot. Yep. How big does Athleta get in it, and big enough to, to break out its own metrics like Old Navy, like Banana? Eventually, we will, we will break it all out, and that's something we talk about because we want people to understand the powerhouse that we have in that brand. I, uh, I see no, nothing that will slow the brand down, quite honestly. It continues to be 50-50 stores and online, so it's truly an Omni brand. Our customers shop seamlessly across the online business, the catalog, and in our stores. So I don't, I'm not going to call uh, an end in sight because there is no end in sight. We really feel like this is a brand that has very significant growth potential in front of us. Now, part of what you've been struggling through is inventory issues. How, how are, is that working out? When will those, in your view, be completely behind you? Yeah, inventory has been um, completely in line across the entire company, with the exception that we took some product out of Gap brand, less because we had inventory issues and more because we felt that the product was not on brand. So we took that product out. We've been forthright with the street about it. Um, it's one of the reasons today that the stores feel cleaner and tighter because there isn't as much breadth of assortment in there. Um, but what we're missing is a little bit of, of sort of the color and the pop inside the brand. And we said quarter over quarter improvement. I'm looking forward to when holiday comes because that's when, and we have a new president there, that's when you really see his fingerprints on the brand as well. So what does Next Gen Gap, the parent company, look like to you and how does it appeal to today's customer? What's that vision? Of the whole company. The whole company. Um, we're going to continue to grow our digital business at an accelerated pace. We've had excellent performance. Um, we're going to continue to grow that business, and that's across the entire portfolio. We're obviously adding a new brand with this announcement with Hill City, and we're looking at other places where we feel that there are white space opportunities for us to participate as well. So I'm not previewing a slew of brands coming, but I do believe that we have an opportunity to add new brands onto the platform, either organically, doing it inside, or through acquisition, and we're continuing to look at what acquisitions might be for us as well. What does Gap look like in five years? Gap looks like in five years. Um, we have additional brands in our portfolio. Um, we have an amazing digital business that maybe at that point it's 
50% of the company or 60% of the company, we probably have um, the same number of stores, um, but different. And maybe stores that quite aren't as big, and maybe stores that have more technology in them. Um, we have a full suite of digital capabilities that our customer uses for their, sh for their shopping, buying, and fulfillment experience. Um, and we have an exceptional experience that is truly omni-channel across all of our brands that allows the customer to engage in a high-touch, low-friction way.